Well, good morning. So, we are on a different adventure. No trailer, truck is stuffed. I am taking not everything, I am taking the kitchen sink. First stop, fuel on board. About 170 bucks to fill the truck. It was not quite on empty. Canadian. <laughs> and um, we're gonna see how far that takes us. Well, I'm here and I'm in the cabin. It's a little bit dark. I didn't get here until after dark, which wasn't what I wanted to do. And to make matters worse, I got the truck stuck. Okay, I'm recording what has been done and where we were at with our um, little cabin project. No trailer, truck is stuffed. I am taking not everything. I am taking the kitchen sink. So not everything, but I'm taking the kitchen sink and the counter. <laughs> uh, so I'm heading up to our cabin in uh, the Kootenays and uh, this is a solo trip with the dogs. And um, we had to take a detour because our usual route, Highway 3, had a rock slide near Karameas. So, um, can't go that way. So I'm adding another 45 minutes onto my drive. And uh, it'll be fun. And I'm going to encounter some snow, so. Yay! All right, here we go. Let's first stop, fuel on board. About 170 bucks to fill the truck. It was not quite on empty. Canadian. <laughs> and um, we're gonna see how far that takes us. So it's three and a bit hours to Kelowna, which is my next stop, I think. <laughs> and I might stop there, I might not. If I still have fuel on board, and we'll see where it takes me. So three and a half, or three hours and a few minutes to Kelowna. And, uh, yeah, the girls are nice and cozy back there. And now I'm going to focus on the road and let the GoPro on time lapse take over. It's not looking great out here, actually. <laughs> it's looking a little bit ominous.
GoPro that was on time lapse, the battery died. So can't do much about that right now, but I did want to show you where I'm driving. I'm gonna turn off the windshield wipers for a second. It's a little snowy here. <laughs> to get on the ferry here at uh, Bell 4 and I looked up on the mountain and there is fire. Now there's no structures there and apparently there was uh, lightning over the weekend and uh, started these some fires in the Kootenays and that not too far up from there there's snow. That's really something. I'm not sure if the GoPro is picking this up. Well, I'm here and I'm in the cabin. It's a little bit dark. I didn't get here until after dark, which wasn't what I wanted to do. And to make matters worse, I got the truck stuck when I was trying to unload it over by Cooter. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> I'm really upset about that. Anyways, we'll figure it out. I'll call some reinforcements in. Um, the uh, temperature is ranging on the uh, heater between six and seven degrees. Um, I have my coat on, <laughs> my big coat. So it's gonna be a chilly night. I have lots of blankets and I have warm jammies and I'm going to uh, hunker down here and uh, stick my head under the covers. The dogs have already made themselves comfy. They're in what's technically the shower. <laughs> There's so much stuff in the bedroom, I couldn't... Well, I'll show you tomorrow. Anyways, I have a trouble light, and I think there's one more item out in the truck or somewhere in the yard that got dropped. It's not the end of the world. As long as a bear doesn't eat it, he'll uh, have tummy troubles after that, though. <laughs> Okay, good night. So I got here last night and I started to unload a few things. I had the counter I needed to unload and the and the um, sink. <laughs> so I didn't bring everything, but I brought the kitchen sink. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's all inside. Then I went around to get a couple things at a cooter who's sitting over there. And Got a pro had a problem. I was told I should have videotaped the uh, what happened, and then I thought, well, I was struggling with it because it was really, really dumb on my part. So I got the truck stuck, and I had my hat. I got to look up that song, that country song, when the truck got stuck. Was it the Chevy first, and then the Ford, and then the. Dodge, and I don't know, the tractor got stuck. I, I'm going to have to look that up and uh, get back to you on that one. Or if anyone knows, let me know. So, um, what I was doing is I went around the back side of the house, cabin, because um, I, oh, um, I had some things in the back of the truck that I was just going to push off, like some um, blocks that we used down in... Uh, 
at home back in uh, Surrey. And I'm trying to get some of the mud off my boots and avoid walking through the mud again. And uh, so I came around the back of the house, which was where Don had his RV parked back here. Just butted up against these logs. They haven't moved. We still have some of these styrofoam pieces. Uh, I should pull them apart and stick them in the cracks. Anyways, um, so I came around, shone the light on the back of Cooter, dropped the puck lock on the ground, hit my foot, rolled underneath the Cooter. So I'm not happy. And then, so I tried to move the truck a little bit to uh, get these... Uh, this junk off the back of the truck and um, I found a hole a giant hole I think there might have been a rock there at one time and I hadn't I knew that I wasn't supposed to come around this way but I I got stuck and I tried to back up and then I went ended up going forward and this is the hole I dug with the front tire. <laughs> Let me stand in it. Oh my goodness. It's really gooey. Oh, I gotta get out before I lose a boot. It's a good foot deep. So, three quarters of my front right tire was buried. I did dig some of it out. I'm not touching a shovel or a rake or anything again today. I'm gonna go put the bottom part of their door lock in. Anyways, our adorable neighbors and excavator saw the truck stuck because I, Brent's like, go to bed. And he came and pulled me out. We had to wait for things to warm up a little bit out here. Um, I don't know if I have, I know what the temperature inside is. Cold. <laughs> Uh, let's see if my watch knows what temperature is. Apparently my heart rate's really high. Well, it says Ainsworth Hot Springs, which I'm not sure where that is. Six degrees, so that, I think that's about, about the high that it's supposed to be out here. And uh, anyways, I'll show you the truck. It's a mess. Oh, it looks like uh, something dug in. So he... Aaron literally lifted the front of the truck, so they use the tow thingies on the front. Sorry, Brent, we took off the other deer whistle. So I think we have one deer whistle on the truck right now. I'm gonna go look. So the truck was already, sorry. The truck was already dirty from being on the highway, but now, oh yeah, we have two deer whistles out of four that we had on there before. So we're still good for, hopefully, uh, I think they work. Anyways, so the truck is filthy from the road. Very, very, very dirty. It's got my paw prints all over it. And there's the wheels. That's the driver's side. I have mud spattered all over because I did try to get out. But I just managed to dig a deeper hole. There's the driver's side rear tire. And I don't even have a hose. Not that I want to add any water to this situation here because it's, I mean, it's okay where we had the driveway and where the trailer was parked. But beyond that, it's not good. Okay, so let me show you the front, front passenger side tire. So it was up to here. And there is a ton of mud and gumbo. And I'm hoping I can find a big puddle just to drive through. <laughs> Maybe I should go to the gravel pit and say, can I borrow your truck wash? <laughs> oh dear. Oh my goodness. Anyways, the back tire is not as bad. Yeah, I would say three quarters of that tire was, uh, three quarters of that tire was under in the hole. I'm never driving around the back of that house again. <laughs> I'll use the wheelbarrow to get whatever I need to pack it around the back. So that was the point. We had uh, the blocks that we used for raising the trailer. 
So we decided, let's get them out of our, tra our, our V site and bring them up here because we don't need them anymore. <sighs> and I was going to drop those off and then load up my cot and um, bring it in. So anyways, I'm going to go inside because I have other jobs I, while I'm waiting for the appraiser. Brent put in the deadbolt and the keypad of the door, um, but he didn't put the bottom in. So I stuck a towel in there thinking, thinking it was going to help keep the heat in. Anyways, so that's my story about uh, the truck. Don't do things in the dark. <laughs> I can laugh now, but I was crying last night. Uh, Brent was really worried. Neither one of us got any sleep. He's back in the lower mainland and I'm up here in the Kootenays. Okay, I'm recording what has been done and where we were at with our um, little cabin project. Oh, I just stepped in a big glob of mud. Okay, we have windows in. Those boards need to go away that are sticking out here. They were using them to install the windows. So those need to go away. And we have our front main living area window. The door is installed with handle. Still working on the uh, programming piece of it. Um, I think I had to delete things, so I just walked away for a bit and I think I deleted it. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, back to the cabin. Okay, they've got snow rails on. One is above the chimney so that any snow ca gathering on the top part of the house will not take out the chimney when it slides down. Okay, still need to take some numbers off, but I can't reach them. Um, round back. Can you hear it? They're working like really hard up top, up, uh, up on the mountain. Okay, in the back, we have the windows installed. Need to do a little clean up. There's some dirt at the bottom of the one there. Um, and the siding is complete. It's got the uh, little exhaust hood for the dryer. Hey, windows are installed. I'm not sure what kind of trim is supposed to go around the windows at this point. There is a gap. The windows live inside of their own little box inside. I'll show you that in a bit. Okay, we got some other spots where they need to do a little bit of cleanup on the, the uh, siding. Okay, this side of the house. The exhaust for the radon and the black one to the bathroom. It's a, I don't remember the name of it. Sorry, my bad. And we have snow rails all the way across on this side. Also on this side, we have, sorry. Also on this side, we have the windows in, both in the kitchen area above the sink and the other one um, which will be where the table goes and then we have our electrical box installed the meter's not there see bailey's nose peeking, peeking out so we have hoses and pipes coming out of the um out of the foundation and uh pipes leading up to the electrical box it is not complete yet then on the front, underneath the porch, our septic is complete and ready to fly as soon as we get a toilet in there and everything else. Um, we have electrical going in at the bottom there and uh, we have to complete the deck. That is a complete tour of the exterior of the house. Good morning. I'm on my way home. <laughs> Two nights in the cabin. The highest the temperature that the uh, heater got to was 10 degrees. 
So I basically have been living in my parka. Anyways, um, I did have it go out for a nice hot meal yet last night and last night was not nearly as cold as it was the night before. It got down to minus two the night before. That's degrees Celsius. And uh, it, it last night was way better. I was cozy and comfy and the truck was not stuck anymore. So I was able to go to sleep and I'm not going back up to the cabin until it's much warmer outside. <laughs> All right, um, catching the nine o'clock ferry. Should be home back in the lower mainland by five o'clock-ish. See how it goes. So just before I went up to the property, um, there was a rock slide. Uh, near just outside of Karameas and they're still in the clearing up process. It closed the entire highway down and um, they've got like one lane going each way. So, whoops, somebody knocked over a cone. <laughs> the uh, RV park that we stayed in, well, they had to repair the road. So they've had to repave a whole bunch of some of the road here. So there really wasn't much to see, but the uh, RV park that we stayed in is right uh, here. <laughs> and it yeah, that was right beside it. So apparently power was out and um, yeah, it was not as uh, disastrous as I had envisioned. So just the road got messed up. Well, that was a bit of a different adventure than anything we've done before. <laughs> got to go up to the cabin, got some things done, got the appraiser. The really disappointing part was I had planned the trip around also the stairs arriving, the interior stairs. They did arrive. We'll show some pictures of that uh, in an upcoming ep episode. And, uh, but it was afterwards. Anyway, so I made it back home safely. That's all I wanted to share with you this week. Give us a thumbs up if you like what you see. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. Bye-bye for now.